Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World. Welcome to a very quick, probably very unprofessional guitar lesson for a song by the band Blackfoot. Now I do note in my recent poll, thank you to everybody who voted in my recent poll, what was your favourite Blackfoot album between Strikes, Tomcat and, and Marauder? Strikes won by 43%, closely followed by Marauder, 41 and in third place, strangely my favourite Blackfoot album of these of this magnificent triumvirate is Tom Cannon at a mere 16%. It's a long story but I'll tell you at some point why my favourite Blackfoot album is Tom Cannon. And another thing as well, on this poll my friend Drew, who I probably haven't seen since school, uh, we went to see Blackfoot, I think, was it April 1982? He drew my cousin Rab. Laffy, I think maybe Dick. Good times. Anyway, so the lesson is for the song Train Train. Now, like every single lesson I ever do on this channel, this is how I play it. Is this how Ricky Medlock plays it? Is this how Charlie Hargrit plays it? I don't think so, but this is how I would play it and the easiest way I could work out how to play it. Now, I'm playing an open E tuning, which Ricky does on the original version if you watch him live. He's playing an open tuning because he likes to use a slide, one of these. So open E tuning. Now I'm doing the camera manually, so you'll have to, have to bear with me here. Focus that there. So open E tuning, what we do is we, the bottom E string stays at E. The A string goes up a full tone to a B note. The D string goes up a full tone to an E note. G string goes up a semitone to a G sharp and the B and the E stay the same. So what we have is an open E and if you're a slide player, I am not a slide player but I do own a slide much like I own a bass but I'm not a bass player. So if you own a slide and you're an open E you can do cool stuff. palm you and there's a lot of work on your right hand going on. So because you can play like a full chord with just one finger, it's mostly just played with one finger. Now this version I'm showing you here is mostly played with one finger. So it starts with just the bottom string open. So it's E and then hammer on to the third fret. Back to the open E and then up and catch. I try and catch them with like an upstroke. The I'll just call them the A and D strings, although they're they've been tuned up. That's it's effective with the top of the E chord. I'll try and focus on my my picking hand here. Try to do this all manually in one go. Try to do it in one take. Ready? The next thing we do is we just go on to the third fret of the bottom two strings, maybe the bottom three strings if you want, because it's an open chord, to the second fret to the open. Maybe some palm muting here. To my other hand, focus on that. Sorry for this jumping all about here, but try to get it done in one take, trying to make it quick. So here we go. Then comes the tricky bit. Now, I watched a lot of people doing this. Ricky Medlock does it correctly. Charlie Hargrit does it correctly. And David Brewster, who did uh, the chords on Blackfoot, I think it's David Brewster, 
really, really good guitar player, really good teacher, a man who knows his stuff. He worked out what the notes are, and I would go with what he says. So he's playing it in standard tuning. I'm playing the same notes, which which he is. But I'm playing it in open tuning because it, to me, is slightly easier. It's still difficult to get up to speed, but it's slightly easier. So I'll show you what I'm playing, and I'll play it slowly, because even I struggle to play it quickly. So here's what I'm playing slowly. So it goes like this. <laughs> very very slowly and I'll, I'll go over the, the notes in a minute and in context slowly so what those notes are, once you come from the you have the open E string, bottom string hammer on to the third and then the fourth fret over to the third fret of the A string pull off to the second fret pull off to the open string and then to the third fret of the bottom string to the second fret to open and then up to the fifth fret play across those strings to catch it's effectively an A chord so very slowly say in David's video and, and I do believe him he thinks it just goes from that note here bends it slightly to the bottom strings open and then to the A but I find it easier and like all my lessons like all my lessons this is about making it easy for people you know I just want people to play along with their favourite albums but I find it easier when I'm doing the pull off from the 3, 2, open on the A string to then do the same thing on the bottom string 3, 2, open before going to, the, to that A chord, 5th fret so very very slowly in context here is how I would play Train Train <laughs> to the verse go up to the 10th fret put that twice just across those strings because you're putting it like an open chord down to 5 back to the riff Seventh fret, tenth fret again. Just one there actually. To five. Back to open. So I don't, don't, don't know if I made that clear. I'll try and turn it on a bit more. Turn it on, turn it on again. That's Genesis, isn't it? Focus on that again. So the verse. play that and you get up to speed and it's very very difficult to get up to speed but you can 
Put the album on and you can jam along to Train Train by Blackfoot, which is just one of the best songs ever. And that, that riff, and it really suits that open E tuning. Ricky uses on other tunes, I think he uses on uh, Gimme, 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 A Man After Midnight. <laughs> And the Reverend Billy Gibbons uses it as well. So there you have it. Open E tuning on a Les Paul. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can use a slide. I am not feeling adventurous today, so I won't be doing that. So it's get it into open E tuning. So all you're doing, you're leaving the bottom string in the same same pitch. You're tuning your A string up to a B. Tuning your D string up to an E, tuning your G string, your G string, tuning your G string up to a G sharp. So when you strum across, across all those notes, it's an open E chord, and that's it. Up to ten, five. 7, 10, 5, and the tricky bit. As ever folks, it's a privilege and a pleasure bringing you content on Dunsey's Guitar World. What I'll do is I'll play myself out with a bit of a, a bit of slide. I'll give it an attempt. Here we go. I'm not going to try and play Ricky's solo. 